Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to take a look at making rollover images in Adobe Dreamweaver. So this is what our final product is going to look like. As you can see, we have an image over here that says home. If you hover over it, you can see a slight difference in the gradient and that's what we're going to make. Uh, I intentionally made it so it has just that slight in difference in the gradient, but you can make it so it just changes to a, just a whole nother image and you could just change it to anything you want really, but I'm the one that chose to have that slight difference in the gradient. So we're gonna be needing two things, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Dreamweaver. You're gonna use Photoshop to make your before and after image, um, and you're gonna use Dreamweaver to put it together on your website or whatever. So once you have made your before and after image in Photoshop, go ahead and save those to your website folder, then head over to Dreamweaver. And what you wanna do is click on Insert, Image Objects, Rollover Image, and image name, I'm gonna name it Home. Uh, just browse for the original image. So let's look for that. And that's before. And then the rollover image is the after image. And it's right there. And then uh, you want to have preload rollover image checked. Alternate text, I'm going to put home. And when clicked, you could add a URL. I'm just going to make it go to octotoots.com and press OK. And we're pretty much done. All you need to do now is save it. So let's go ahead, file, save as. And I'm going to save this in my website folder. Save that as roll over. Press save. And then let's preview that in Firefox to see how it looks. As you can see, we have that image. If you roll over, you see that slight difference in the gradient. And that's it for this tutorial. Very simple and it's really cool and it adds a really cool effect to your website. So you could add this into your website navigation bar and then make like a bunch of them like for about and contact and stuff. And then whenever you hover over any of them, they'll have that slight change in the gradient and it'll add a nice cool look to your website. So that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys could put this to good use. This is octotoots.com and I'll see you guys later.